Well, the number of homicides in Colorado Springs in 2020 is up and is on record pace right now to be the deadliest year in our city's history. New size Andy Cohen joins us live tonight. Andy, we've already surpassed previous year's totals. Yeah, in fact, we are ahead of last year, Rob, which was a down year. But uh, to give you some comparison, we've had at least 34 homicides in the city of Colorado Springs, and that suspicious death from earlier today would make 35. And by way of comparison, there were 38 in all of 2018, which tied a record that year. When talking about the higher number of homicides this year, the Springs Police Department wants victims' families to know they're aware of the gravity of these crimes. So I may speak very just passionately about trends and numbers. The reality is that this is always an individual human being who's lost their life. This trend isn't unique to Colorado Springs. Homicides are up across the country. It's a crime that isn't like other crimes. It's not like a robbery or a burglary where somebody learns to commit that crime and then goes on to commit numerous of those crimes. That's incredibly rare. The fact that we had somebody who committed, I believe, two or three homicides this year, that's actually very rare for here in Colorado Springs. He said some cases this year involved drug deals gone bad. Others were instances of self-defense or accidents where someone mishandled a gun. We asked whether stress from the pandemic might be playing a role. And obviously COVID is what most people's minds go to, but I don't have any information that I can draw a link that said these, this homicide was a result of tensions caused by the COVID or tension caused by staying at home. We just don't have the ability to do that. Those who provide services to victims of domestic violence say that they are seeing an increase in demand. We are definitely seeing an increase again in the number of calls that we're receiving and an increase in the level of violence that we are seeing. While violence in the home existed before the pandemic, she says the stress seems to bring out the worst in people. For those individuals where violence or power and control is already existing in a relationship, those added stressors are exacerbating those situations. Like the police, she doesn't want anyone to feel trapped in a violent relationship. There are people in organizations who are here to help. And if you are in a situation where you need some help, just call the Tessa safe line. You can see the number here on your screen. It is 633-3819. You can also visit them, chat with them online in case using a telephone isn't going to work. The website is tessacs.org. Always watching out for you. Andy Cohen, News 5.